Dimethyl sulfate is a naturally occurring volatile sulfur compound that is often associated with an off flavor in beer. DMS originates from a precursor which develops in barley during malting. It gives a distinctive aroma and flavor, often described as canned or creamed corn. DMS is formed during kilning as a result of the breakdown of a precursor called S-methylmethionine. SMM forms during germination process in the barley kernel embryo. It breaks down into DMS at elevated temperatures in the malt plant and brew house. The amount of DMS produced during brewing is directly tied to the amount of SMM in the wort. When the wort is boiled in the brew kettle, the heat causes DMS to vaporize and much of it is driven off. However, some DMS can remain in the wort, particularly if boiling is not vigorous enough. As the wort cools down after boiling, DMS can undergo oxidation in the presence of oxygen. This process can lead to the formation of DMSO. Fermenting wort contains SMM, DMS, and DMSO. During fermentation, DMSO can be reduced to DMS by the yeast enzyme DMSO reductase. DMS can also be produced by some microbial contaminants such as wild yeast and wort spoilage bacteria. DMS is a highly volatile compound and its levels in beer are controlled through several key methods. In order to reduce the precursor potential in the mash, the brewers should select appropriate malt which is kilned at slightly elevated temperatures. Lightly killed malt should be avoided if possible. As a volatile compound, DMS will evaporate from the wort during boiling. A longer and more vigorous boil, typically 60 to 90 minutes, ensures more DMS is removed from the wort. If the boil is too short, not enough DMS will escape and the compound may remain in the beer. If possible, the kettle manway should be left open to help prevent DMS from recondensing back into the wort. Additionally, installing a vent fan can help drive off more volatile compounds. A long whirlpool stand should also be avoided. The wort temperature in the whirlpool remains relatively high, which allows any remaining SMM to convert into DMS after the opportunity for volatilization during the vigorous boil has passed. Appropriate yeast pitching rates and good wort oxygenation prior to fermentation can also help reduce the levels of DMS by ensuring yeast health and vigorous fermentation, which can drive off volatile DMS as the CO2 escapes the fermentation vessel. Some yeast strains are more effective at metabolizing remaining DMS precursor than others. Also, avoiding yeast strains with higher levels of DMS reductase enzyme can help lower DMS levels in beer. Good standard operating procedures and sanitation practices will reduce the risk of wild yeast and wort spoilage bacteria contamination. DMS has a distinct flavor profile, often described as having a cooked corn, creamed corn, or vegetable aroma and taste. Some people also perceive it as cabbage-like, tomato juice, or black olives. DMS is typically present in most beers at concentrations between 10 to 100 micrograms per liter. The flavor threshold varies by beer style but generally falls between 30 and 50 micrograms per liter. It is typically not a concern in ales. At low levels, DMS can enhance the flavor of some pale lagers and is one of the most important flavor characteristics of the style. 
However, it can become problematic in lagers made with lighter malts, such as Pilsner or white malts, which contain high levels of the SMM precursor. In these cases, if the brewing and fermentation processes are not properly controlled, DMS levels can be higher than desired. The gold standard for measuring DMS in a lab is gas chromatography. In this process, the beer is heated to release the DMS, which is then separated and quantified. While not as precise as gas chromatography, trained sensory panel can detect DMS in beer by tasting. This method can help determine if the DMS level is above an acceptable level for the style. When tasting for DMS in beer, we should bring the glass close to our nose and take a short sniff before we move the glass away. We can also use a drive-by method by moving the glass left and right under our nose. This can be repeated a few times. If we were to take a deep sniff from the beer glass, we could easily become blind to the flavor. Since this is a sulfur compound, it is easy to become adapted to the flavor, which means that the more we smell it, the less we can detect it. After taking a small sip, the cooked corn flavor can be detected in the mouth. In sum, DMS is an important beer flavor. It smells like cooked corn and can turn into an off flavor if its concentration exceeds the threshold levels. It is produced mainly from its malt precursor, SMM. Its levels can be controlled with the choice of malt, long and vigorous boiling, rapid cooling, and proper fermentation and sanitation practices.